Whoosh! Hey everybody, it's me, Super Paul Games. Welcome Afternoon back to baseball. Coming your way on the show from Petco Park in downtown San Diego. Today, the third and final game in this three-game series between the San Francisco Giants and the San Diego Padres. Let's go, Giants! Let's see if we can sweep these. Next on the show, butterball turkeys. <laughs> Show them well with that ribbon right there. Santana, the right native of the Dominican Republic, will be hey, we're playing against Santa. What do we need to know here, HR? Well, Matt, I'm excited to see his outing today. Last game, he pitched deep in the game. He got the loss. He only gave up one run. Let's see if he can get some run support and make it hold up and maybe walk away with a win today. The Padres did score a lot of runs in the last game. They scored seven. Unfortunately for them, we scored like 15. Technically only three... Stolen bases away from tying Ricky Henderson's record. I'm trying not to be grumpy that Moss is playing in this game. <laughs> Two outs, top of the first. On a less than impressive swing there to start the Stop smelling your pits. That's nasty. Padres Herald as they take the field this afternoon. It was another loss last time out, and this portion of the schedule has not done them any favors as they've dropped five of their last seven. Yeah, man. I mean, this is a big game. Nobody likes to get swept in a series. Losing the first two games kind of put their backs against the wall. We'll see how they respond as they try to get one win in this place as they get ready to That was an excellent throw. <laughs> Even the catcher couldn't get a piece of that. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Outside, 2-1. Yeah, well, that's a good pitch, but you have to get a little bit closer to the plate than that. That's that big sweeping slider. What are you chewing on, the world's small closer, sandwich? It's like little sweet. bites, tiny bites. Into the windup, here's the 2-1 and one pitch. Now a ball hit high in the air, deep down the line. And stay left. fair, stay Keep fair. Oh. Had home run distance, but it just does hook foul. We hit the building. Unfortunately, like he said, it was foul. Sent on the ground out to second. Jerko has it. You damn Jerko! Just trying to get on fast. Your name is right about you. That sucks we didn't get a home run. We hit the wrong side of the building. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Now well, after half an inning, tied ball game. At the plate, Danny Valencia. He's been Danny one of their big run producers third, this year, third. currently third on the Danny team in RBIs. Valencia. I wish we could stay here in San Diego because we're having a hell of a road trip and here. A ball hit in the air. You got a Wolverine. Woo! Into the outfield. One down. Nice catch, man. Oops, didn't mean to bump into you. Let's take a look at the Giants' defense brought to you by Majestic. And behind the plate, you got Buster Posey. Took him a little while to figure out how to work things in the big leagues, but boy, can he catch. He can still catch and throw. He'll pull you this is where I'm glad I don't have a face cam on, that I'm too lazy to do that shit, and I don't want it to be in the way of the game. Because every time the screen comes up, I just shake my head when I see Moss in the lineup. Settling in now. Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Oh no, we are down by a run. We are down 2 1. Bottom of the second. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Dick is there. Two down. Easy out. Digging dig 0 for 1. Man on first. I don't like that we're down by a run. Their pitcher is actually doing a good job so far. Hit the other way out toward right field. Houston will oh. to make the play. I want to go strangle that man. Can I, Hunter? Hunter's probably like, no, just go sit down, Dick. Striding in once again, Stephen Houston. Right fielder. Two runs, five hits. No errors in the Tied ball game. They got a guy on third, though. No outs. This one's flared out toward left. Dick. Get there, Dick. Get there. He gets there to make the play for the And first shallow enough, and they don't test his arm. I don't know why he was rolling around. around. <laughs> it wasn't really necessary, but okay. Once again, Tug Dick. It's Tug. been an 0 for 2 Dick. effort for him to this point. Ah, right, we're down by a run again. And the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1-0. Well, he's having a good amount of success here, Dan, even though he hasn't really gotten a ton of swings and misses. 
Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch-to-contact kind of guy, and obviously it's working so far, and the way he pitches, it really keeps his pitch count down. Fastball. Well, it's going to be hard to make contact with that when it's like eye high. Locked in at the plate right now to me. His numbers in recent games have been very good, and those were two stone-cold takes right there that put himself in a great hitter's count. Oh, and this is fouled back and out of play. They didn't quite get as much of that as I wanted. A little late on the slider. Into the windup. Here's the two and one pitch. Sent fouled again, and after being way ahead, now it's even at two and two. That was the good pitch. Mix it up to speeds. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. Third foul ball in a row, and this is turning into a pretty good at bat. That is one thing, is Tug Dick doesn't strike out very often. And a good oh fastball. shit! Speaking of the devil though, the couldn't catch it with that fastball. Giants Santa, I could not stop your magic pitches. Hey, that's a jerkle that got us out earlier. Tied ball game. They got a runner at first. At least our team has stayed in this. Two quick strikes, and now the 0-2. Had him off balance a bit as this is skied into short left center. Dick comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for out number two. Yeah, you don't dare try going to second. Coward. He'll think twice about trying to move up. Here's Yonder Alonzo. He enters this at bat one for two with a walk. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. If we win this game, we'll have won at least the last three games, maybe more. Hopefully that means that we'll have gotten a little more distance on the Diamondbacks. And that retires the side. So it's no runs, no base hits, no errors, and one man left on base. Eighth inning coming up. And we are tied 4-4. It's our chance to go up ahead. Hopefully somebody gets on like Hunter Pence. Tug did go for three. He's having a rough game. Looks like Hunter Pence is on first. Come on, right up the middle. Finally got a hit. Nice. Nice, we got a runner to third. Potential go ahead run now at third. Thanks to that single right up the middle. Take it back up the middle hard like he did right here. Nice job. Digging in once again, Brandon Moss. Apparently, Moss had a home run earlier. We're trying to steal second. We're only three away from Rick Anderson's record. It looks like a right hander is getting loose out there. Because we got to hope if we steal second, maybe they'll pitch on Moss. And another throw over. And he just manages to get his hand in. They have a reason to be scared of Tug Dick, though. He is way ahead of everybody in stolen bases this year. Runners off for second. Pitch is a cold strike. The Easy. Take too long with your fancy leg kick. Showing off your legs for the ladies. Look at that old man. He's like, what happened? I don't know if you can see him in the stand. Two runners in scoring position, and there aren't any force outs other than at first. Pretty good chance to drive in a pair right now. How about you walk the loser at the plate? Yes! Now that's some good strategy. And now after the stolen base, they'll go ahead and put him on here to keep the double play in order with one away. Well, tough to say if that was their intention or not, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. A force at every base now, so there are a lot of ways to get out of this. And Buster Posey coming to the plate. Arguably our most clutch hitter. Base is loaded. Perfect situation. Only one out for us to go ahead. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. This is a critical point right here. Things are in danger of getting away from him a little, so we'll see how he deals with it. He's ready. Here's the 1-0. Drilled to first. Oh, Alonzo shit. There to second for one. On to Alonzo. It's a double play. And Not very often. 
Then we see Buster Posey do that. That sucks. So much for getting the lead. Man, that sucks. We have the bases loaded and everything. And we lost! Fuck you, Padres. We win the series, that's the important thing. So much for sweeping them, that's disappointing. As we wrap this one up tonight, it's time Valencia, to player of the game. The man you see there, Danny Valencia. Get that out of my face. Of that, he's our top player of the game. Hey, we lose six to four. Let's go take a look at the standings. It seemed like he had the most to do with his guys getting the win here. Six to four. Tug Dick only one for four, which is actually really poor for him of late. Though maybe his numbers are going to start to come back to somewhere more realistic. I hope not. It was awesome when he was hitting over 400, but it's unlikely he's going to have a 400 average at the end of the year. I mean, how often does that even happen? I think Ted Williams was probably the last guy to do that. Correct me if I'm wrong. All right, let's go look at the standings. We are three games up on the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks have won the last two. We've got 80 wins. Cardinals are two and a half games up on the Reds in the um, you know Central. In the East, the Braves are four games up on the Nationals. If you look, we have the best record in the National League. First team to 80 wins in the National League. Moving on to the American League, Rays are five games up on the Red Sox. In the Central, the White Sox are four games up on the Tigers. Oh, I wish my Tigers were doing that well in real life. Uh, the Mariners are two games up on the Rangers. Let's see, what is next on the calendar? Alright, we're going to play St. Louis next. Kind of bittersweet, we're getting close to the end of the year. The plus side is that means we're getting close to the playoffs. And hopefully we win a playoff spot. If we keep playing like this, we will have a playoff spot. Look at that, Tug Dick having a career year so far. Hopefully I didn't jinx it. He's only two stolen bases, I think, away from the tying the record. The city by the bay. AT Park on a Thursday night. Yeah, we get to go home to add it and T Park. The San Francisco Giants. Major League Baseball on the American Telephone and Telegraph. Or is it the other way around? I can never remember which T is which. Tim Lincecum will be on the mound for the series opener. What's your take on him, H? Well, his last out, and he did his job. I mean, he didn't give up a run. He did a nice job, gave his team an opportunity, and he picked up the win. So he is throwing the ball as good as he can right now. I hope that's what we get to see again today. Look at that. Two... Bases away from tying the record. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Bottom of the first. Two outs. All aboard. Into the windup and the pitch. Takes this the other way to right. I'm going to go throw my controller against the, across the room. That is frustrating, especially after the last game. Because he hit it really hard. Just, you know, close to an outfielder. Here's Matt Carpenter, 0 for 1 for Hey Carpenter, why don't you make me a chair? Why are we... Carpenter. Why does Bochy got us shaded so far over? Lifted the other way out to left center. Dick You're out, son. We're down by a run, it looks like, though. Come on, Cardinals. You know we're supposed to win, right? Do you have enough flags out there? Player of the Month recognition. I'm not sure if we do. How many do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then we got the six up there. So we have like 13 banners or flags out there. High in the air out to center field. I can't believe that guy almost dropped it. It would have been awesome if he had. <laughs> oh, well, what are you going to do? Johnny Peralta coming up to the plate. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Johnny Peralta. Hands held high by Peralta. Now the pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Dick is in his tracks now as he makes the catch for out number two. Nice catch. That runner is not going to advance. 
Oh, Carpenter's back up. Again. How's my chair coming, dude? He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Bochi believes in a major shift with this guy. There's a uh -oh. swing and a high drive into left center field. Dick racing back. Oh, couldn't get it. So close. Come on, Lindsay, come. Usually you come better than this. I mean, you pitch better than this. Number 18 for him on the campaign as the Redbirds have taken a two to nothing lead. Well, how do you beat the shift? You hit it over the shift, of course. You can't play guys up in the sky, so he lifts this one up and out of here. Oh, well, not much we could do about that. Tug Dick was pretty close to catching it, but he couldn't get it. Tug Dick 0 for 2. In and ready for another shot. We're down by two Dick. runs, bottom of the six. Come on, please carry. We've been kind of in a slump of late. He tracks it oh, you fucking nice kidding me? One away. We've had too many like that where they've been deep Ready warning for track chance. catches. Uh, Frustrating. Probably didn't help that the wind was blowing in from there. There's a swing and a drive Come on, hit the wall at least. And that'll ricochet off that brick wall then right. Well, we got a hit. And Got a double. Where the wheels pay off as he's able to make it into second with a hustle double. You know the previous exactly pitch. If we'd been hitting both of those pitches, this one and the previous one, if we'd been in another park, they could have probably been home runs. The temptation for the next batter is to swing for the fences and tie it up with one swing, but a base hit brings home a run and keeps momentum on your side. We'll see. Well, in the ninth. We don't got all day to worry about this. Come on, Brandon Moss, get a hit. Brandon Moss is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strikeout here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Use the power of the fans. They're trying to Getting pump you up, dude. Off a second there, now the pitch. And this You're not supposed to hit it to them, unless it's the ones like out in the bleachers. Here comes the pitch to Moss. Again, he sends it out of play. No one out with a runner at second. We throw back to second and a dive. So Dick is not going to try and steal a third here. Since we need two runs, we don't want to make the last out. Well, it wouldn't be the last out. We don't want to make it out at third right now. Swung on in the dirt for the third strike. Molina has it, but the throw is not in time. Moss reaches on the strikeout. So good Excellent! Runners on the corners out, because of a bad pitch. Alex That's hilarious that Moss struck out and he still got on. That's Moss succeeding. Alex Old McDonald over on first. Remember when we were pinch runner? I think that was like two seasons ago where he did a little bit of pinch running duty. Runners on the corners, Posey at the plate. He represents the go-ahead run. With a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. No doubt, some saves come easier than others, and I know this all too well. They're really making wrapping this thing hmm. up. Does that mean Jesus would be a great closer? Because he's all about saving, <laughs> making them save. and he swings and misses. One one count. Well, that's a true indicator. He's looking for a fastball, and he wanted to spin the win right there, and knock one as far as he could. He got the off-speed pitch inside, and he pulled off of it. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. Runners are at first and third with none out. And that swung on oh. the so good work on the Damn it. Take care of the National League. Come on, Posey. And there's one away. Tell me Belt's we coming up next. Time for a strike out there, guys. Tying run at first, so objective number one is straining him on base. And now with one out, it becomes a lot more. No, nope, Elvin Eaton. That run. He's having a good game, though. He's two for three so far. Looking for more. Alvin Eaton is looking for hit number three here in this at-bat. He's set and the pitch. 
And the changeup just missed the inside corner. Now, I'm sure these infielders know it, but this hitter can burn down the baseline. So if he puts a ground ball... I'm trying away, to forget last year how... If you remember, at the end of last year, Tug Dig got injured and missed, I think, the last month and a half or something. Oh. In the dirt and block behind the plate. And without him the playing, the team collapsed. The hold on. I know it's way too early, but we lost last game. With the Diamondbacks only three games behind us, we don't want to start losing. Got his 2 0 fastball, but he was way behind. 2 and 1. 2 1. And then that's a pretty good example of why he's such a great pitcher. Yeah, stuff. Stuff is obviously the important. Yeah, dude, you got to have stuff. Down, but it doesn't mean a whole lot if you don't have outstanding control to go along with it. But he does, and he really spotted that pitch. Hey. Two and two now. I like how he's mixing up the fastball and the changeup right there. That's how we got the two and two count. I think he comes back with the changeup here. Runners are at first and third, one away. Please don't screw it up. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't. Oh, the face bomb. That's two strikeouts strike in a row. Run over at first base. Tammy Rosenthal. Now, with two outs, it becomes a lot more difficult to manufacture that guy home. Probably need a ball in the gap to give him a chance. Brandon Belt will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. All right, it's up to you, Brandon. You've been hitting a bunch of home runs of late. Three-run home runs. This would be a three-run home run if you could hit one. Bottom of the ninth, two outs. The entire game is in Belt's hands. And that misses for ball one. The average man, that guy's throwing 99. To start playing. 14 homers and an even 80 RBIs. One zero count. Here it is. Just a uh, one one for a strike. One, one. This lineup is flailing right now. They're having a hard time just making contact, let alone putting the ball in play. A little bit outside, two and one. Well, I know the last. Come on, Brandon Belt. The base is right here, so the pressure. So far, he's actually right got a good at bat going on. Runners, Runners at the corners. First and third, two away. One swing of the bat could tie this or win it. And this is swung or lose it. Strike two. two, two count. The Giants are down to their final strike. Oh, I think his eyes lit up when he saw that pitch coming up at his eye level. Oh, you think? If you've got a good fastball like he does, that location can be really effective. It looks so tempting to the hitter, but making contact on that pitch can be very tough. Well, he hits the foul. Spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. Had a fastball to pitch before. It just and he strikes and out the side. We it. lose. I am grumpy. Yeah, just keep on keeping on. It was an interesting, fun game, but I can't believe we lost that. We've lost two straight. Success is never guaranteed. One to the Padres and one to the Cardinals. We had our opportunities, but we didn't come through. Well, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I had a good time. I hope you did too. I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all hanging out. That's a very full beer. Take it easy, everybody. Thirty-second of the season. So that'll just about do it. For Harold Reynolds, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com.